Hi everyone, Skelter back here, and I'm here to show you about what I got. This is the Immortalizer from Cheap Vapors, <clears throat> and uh, this uh, it's being sold in market 2,900 pesos. And uh, well, reason I got one is I broke my Mini Phoenix. I drilled a big air hole to it and I didn't quite enjoy how it performed <clears throat> so I got one of these now um, it's a three piece design the base, the top cap well you can actually use it just with the base and the top cap but it's gonna be too airy and they have a sleeve, a sleeve. this is the gunmetal version now let me just show you so this is your top cap regular tap top cap uh, the serial number is located here let me just wipe it off real quick serial number is uh, located here let me show you it's G003 uh, it's gunmetal that's why there's a G because they came out with a first batch uh, which is not gunmetal and with the sleeve with an aluminum sleeve instead now this, uh, the, the, the top cap it's just your regular top cap, and this the insides of the top cap is going to be the atomizer chamber. Next part is your gun metal sleeve. Now the gun metal sleeve uh, has two holes on each side. I believe it's a millimeter each, <clears throat> and it's reverse threaded. It's threaded to the base, and it's reverse threaded. So instead of you um, removing it with a counterclockwise motion you have to do it with a clockwise motion that's the sleeve now the base is what's important it contains the positive and the negative pole uh, with a ceramic insulator uh, below them below it and if you can see there are three canals one here and two on, on the other forming like a triangular shape so the, th the canals the canals here is where your air goes when it passes oops I'm sorry about that is where your air goes uh, once it goes uh, once it passes through the holes on your sleeve <clears throat> so it goes down there now the 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 thing here it's like your um it's like your um 901 atomizer with the empire drip shield it's it's something like that uh, the um, the concept is something like that it goes in the sleeve and it's being blocked by the top cap since the top cap seals the atomizer chamber it goes into the sleeve the air goes down through the canals and it goes up in the middle. Now, if you're going to be looking here, let me do a little close up. And we look at here, this is your ceramic insulator. Two holes on the sides <clears throat> are for your positive and negative pole, and the two holes in the middle is where the air passes through after it goes down to the canals. <clears throat> So it goes into the sleeve, goes down, goes through the canal, and goes up on the two holes on the middle where your ceramic insulator is. Um, if you look closely, this is the version 2 on, uh, with, with the upgra upgraded terminals. Now right below the, the posts, the positive and negative posts, is the insulator, the white insulator with two holes in the middle. So if you can if you're looking at it directly like so <clears throat> and compare it to what you have here. You see the two holes in the middle? That's where uh, my coil is. I'm using a 500 mesh with 0.25 canthal and it works like a charm. The good thing about this is that um, 
let me just put it back good thing about this is um, chamber is small just like uh, other rebuildable atomizers I've used chamber is small <clears throat> and since it is since it is um, using it it seems to be like using the concept of a 901 atomizer and drip shield you know even if you flood it especially because I'm using a mesh <clears throat> when I flood it it's a little gurgly since the the juice goes into the middle goes through the sleeve and the sides goes through the canals but when you take a drag <clears throat> it pulls him back to your mesh so your mesh gets wet the coils gets hot and it burns the juice really well so um, I'm actually enjoying this I've had this for more than a week already and um, it's really nice I'm getting good flavor <clears throat> and warm warm vapor um, and I'm using like I said 30 gauge Canthal and probably this is uh, around 1 1.3 ohm something somewhere that somewhere there and uh, I don't know I'm just getting a good throat hit here a warm vapor and good flavor you know the combination of the three is really essential when you're vaping um, like I said everyone knows I'm not a vapor person and I'm I'd be enjoying my vape if I'll be getting a good throat hit, a good good amount of throat hit, plus a good amount of flavor. Not overpowering, just, you know, just smooth taste, a little mentally, but warm vapor. So I'm getting all that in here, and I'm really liking it. Um, I got one from Rubbing Elbows, <clears throat> the version 1, and the version 1 contained these poles if you're looking at the side the poles has um, screws on top and the side is open you know so you can just put your canthal around it you, you screw it in place and you're done actually I like this better um, it's easier to rebuild for me though <clears throat> I'm still learning my go around with the version 2 of the poles. Uh, the thing with the version 2, uh, I haven't showed you. Let me just dismantle this real quick. Okay, the thing with the poles, if you look closely, um, there are, look closely, there are slits on here slits in there and on the other side that's where you put your canthal in okay the slit put the canthal in the slit you lock it with a screw on the side and it secures it in place the thing here uh, with the slit uh, what I've noticed is uh, um, it should be a little deeper I guess <clears throat> because it doesn't um, lock the canthal in place when you screw it in because um, the screw uh, the bottom of the screw is not fully exposed on the slit you know if you if this I guess if I'll try that sooner or later if the slit is a little deeper and the whole bottom of the screw is exposed when you put your canthal flat you screw it in place it should lock in place but since the slit is you know not that deep whenever you put your canthal you sit it flat flat on the slit and you sit it flat on the slit and you screw it in place the screw you know it's a hit or miss so what I do is I use my tweezers <coughs> flat ones flat tip tweezers I use this on that small slit. I push it down with the uh, with my tweezer. I push it down so that instead of it sitting on the slit, it will bend like so. It will bend like so. 
you know, it bends like so instead of sitting like flat there. So when I push it with my tweezer, it bends, it goes in all the way. And when I put the screw, when I lock the screw in place, it secures it in place. So that's the only thing I noticed why it's hard to quite to build this <clears throat> rather than this one, the version one. Uh, and uh, another thing is, let me dismantle it again. Another thing is the the pole, the positive and negative pole, is being held by one screw. Okay, so whenever you're building, because you know you may be applying too much force on the screws, pushing it, you know, everywhere, you might loosen the screw that holds the positive and negative pole in place. So if it loosens accidentally, you know, since it's being held by one, it's going to be swiveling. You know, it's being held by one screw here, it's going to be swiveling, you know. So what you need to do, make sure is it's tucked all the way in, uh, secure the locking screw for the bit, for the pole, and then you put your cantal in. Because if it's if it swivels too much to the side, when you put your top cap, you know you may get a short or or whatnot. So anyhow, um, that's the only gripe I I've seen so far on this. But if you, you know, you're not really going to be venturing into these kinds of rebuildable atomizer if you don't know much about rebuildables. Now, I'm not saying I know everything about it, but, you know, at least I know my workarounds or my go-around to make it work. Um, nonetheless, this is a good a rebuildable atomizer. I'm actually enjoying it. Um, well, this is my only rebuildable atomizer now. Uh, I've sold the others that I've, I used to have. And uh, the way it looks, you know, it looks leek, it looks nice, polished top and bottom cap, then a gunmetal sleeve, come on, who's not going to like it, right? So anyhow, um, performance, like I said, it's really good, and I'm really enjoying it, <clears throat> although uh, when I tried it with a uh, silica, <clears throat> I didn't really quite enjoy it. Um, flavor is there, but you know, with silica it seems to be a little lesser. So I went in, put in a mesh on it. It's working better, it's working great. I'm loving the flavor, just right, and the vapor really is warm. Well, if you have, I've tried um, Sir Jesmut's uh, immortalizer, uh, he's using with him using a flat wire <clears throat> and a provary you know where you can set the voltage to what you like and it's really warm at 12 watts I also tried it on his immortalizer he's using dual coils on it um, and flavor is really good warm warm vapor just, l the, just the way I like it and throat hit is really good you know you can feel it feel it all the way down to your lungs so if you want to venture if you guys want to venture to a new rebuildable atomizer you might want to try one of these small chamber you know it's equal to warm vapor more flavor and that good throat hit you know? um, I've seen others who have removed the sleeve the sleeves rather and put just the top cap in place um, it's airy too airy for me and if you're if you're gonna listen to me vape this just not my style though uh, it lessens the flavor maybe if you're using a dual coil or a um, twisted or flat wire it may compensate for the flavor but I'm better off with the sleeves on
Okay, so anyway, I don't want to make this video any longer. I hope you learned something from it. Again, if you want to venture out uh, with a different um, rebuildable atomizer, you might want to you might want to try one of these. It's um, if you're um, well, it's a little expensive because it's being sold twenty nine hundred dollars. Oh, rather twenty nine hundred pesos. Uh, but you know, uh, it's good quality. It's good build. You know, it's an innovation from the 901 Grip Shield and Atomizer. This is um, this is really cool. I'm really liking it. Anyhow, um, well, that's about it. That's about really it. I don't really have anything more to say. I hope you learned something from this. And you know, go drop by any of your cheap vapor stores and get one for yourself. Keep on vaping everyone. Cheers.